Okay, so let's have a go at drawing a family. So firstly, in Google Drawings, we are going to resize the canvas by grabbing that little thing there. Let's start with a face. Could that be a face? Maybe. Is that a better face? Maybe. Probably a better shape for a face, maybe not so long. Get rid of that one. Let's try that. Skin tone, choose your skin tone. I like to get rid of the outlines altogether. Oh, firstly, let's actually change our background. So right click and just pick a white background for now. Yep, that's fine. And just a body. Again, use the same shape. We want that to be in front, so right click on that, order, bring to front, line that up, get rid of our outline. <coughs> we want some arms and legs. Now to copy objects, use the Alt key. Or if you're using a PC, use the control key to click and drag, or you can just go copy and paste. Whatever works for you. So let's get these arms and legs. Oops, not that one. That one. It's our skin tone. Rotate. Select those two, bring them to front. So let's just copy that. Flip it around. Into back and do some legs slightly larger than arms, aren't they? Thicker. It's all about getting the order right. There is a shortcut, so control shift arrow, uh, control shift down, or if you're using a Mac, command shift down. And the opposite is true with the up arrow. <coughs> Make those a little bit wider, I think. There we go. Let's get some pants on this guy. So make a copy of that one. That looks not very good. Another round of rectangle. All right, it's got some pants. Yeah, that's okay. Some shoes. Another one. Pretty much everything so far has been done using the same tool. Around a rectangle. Or the same shape. Very basic feet. Alright, now eyes. Going to get the ellipse for that one. Or the oval. Now I'm going to make it really big to start with and then we'll shrink it down. So holding the shift key <coughs> with uh, when you drag out the shape will enable it to stay the right shape. 
Um, we're going to make this the color of the eye. So maybe a blue eye. Get rid of the outline. Let's make a copy of that. Make that black for the iris. Make it a bit smaller. Put it in the middle. You can make it a big iris or a small iris. It's up to you. And then we want a... What do we want? Let's go another oval. Yep. Make sure you notice how we've got these um, guidelines. So make sure you use those to line things up. So this will be our rest of our eye. Maybe a little bit bigger than the eyeball or iris. And that's going to be... I'm not going to make a perfect white, just nearly white. And we want eyelids. So I'm going to use the moon for that. So we'll rotate that around. Not that much. Make that really narrow. Oh, actually, let's go this way. that a little bit darker than our skin tone maybe not that much so we get our skin tone and then we will go to custom just make it a little bit darker and we'll make a copy of that flip around put that in there this eyelid's probably might seem a little bit smaller. Okay. And we also want um, one more thing. Make a copy of this circle again. Make it smaller. Not that small. Put it there. Make that one pure white. And that gives us our little reflection on the eye that everyone actually has. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to hold the shift key down while I shrink it. And I'm going to make a copy of that. I'm going to move that over here. Shrink it down even more. Bring it to the front. Hmm. Going to group everything inside there. So we can move the parts around. Eyes do not go at the top of the head or halfway. They should really be about halfway down. shift key to deselect. That'll do. I can zoom in as well. It's pretty good. Now also let's do um, a nose. Going back to our moon shape. In fact we don't need to make a new one. Let's just grab one of the actually just un oh yeah that'll do. We'll grab one of those so copy that using the command key or the control key. No, sorry, the Alt key or the Control key to copy that. I'm just going to make that like that. So it's like a little shadow underneath his nose. So this is the nose here that you don't see. This is the shadow under it. Same, I'm going to make a copy of that for his chin. Maybe make that a little bit wider, depending on what sort of chin you want. Make it a little bit thinner. And then mouth, let's 
grab the pie and then turn that into a semicircle get rid of the outline and to make that black or really dark grey now I'm going to go black and then I'm going to no, what am I going to do? Maybe another moon. Could use the moon for the mouth too. But put that in there. And I'm going to give that a tongue colour. About that. That in place. Hmm. And let's get some teeth as well. Just square. Might do it. Now, ears. We want the colour of the skin, so we'll just select that to get our tone. And let's get Around a rectangle again. Do that. Do that. Order. Send back. Make another one of these. Make it a little bit darker. Should have that colour there. Make that a little bit smaller. You can use the shift key. And then order, send to back, too far, so we right click on that one and send that one to back, and there's our ears. Um, hair, easy just to make curly hair, so get rid of that outline, that black using the control key on a PC or the alt key on a Mac. Uh, now we want to have a little v-neck here, so I'm going to create a triangle. Rotate that around. Put that in there. We're going to bring. Uh, actually, we want to send that backwards. There we go. Oh, and we need sleeves. So, um, I'll just use some squares. Use the shift key and the arrows on your keyboard to get fine movements happening. Shorts look ridiculous, don't they? Send those shorts backwards. Oh, this look all, looks all good. Okay. And then to make a copy of him, so we can make more people, just grab all of it. Use your Alt key and then just copy out more clones and then go in and make individual changes on each person so that they look like someone completely different. Thanks for 
watching now. Yes.